I'm Will, and welcome back to the Bull Book Geek. So, if you guys don't know, I'm a little bit of a coffee addict, to say the least on the subject. I love my coffee. There's been this tag on BookTube for God knows how long. It's called the coffee tag, and I've always wanted to do it, but I always found the original just really long-winded. So, I kind of did my own version. So, this is the coffee tag, the Bald Book Geek version. Let's start this, shall we? Question one, espresso. A short and intense read. Mine would be Blade Runner by Philip K. Dick. Or some people know it as do Android, its original title is uh, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep. It's very different from the film. And it is this dark, intense, almost Pulp Fiction-like quality to it. And it's, it's this hard detective novel. It's one of those books that will get under your skin. It's dark, it's intense, and it won't let you stop. It's the only way I can describe Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep. It's great piece of cyberpunk science fiction, although cyberpunk didn't really exist when it was written, but it's the precursor to it all. The film is spectacular and the book is spectacular, but for different reasons. Second question, a cappuccino, a book set in Italy. Now this is where I've kind of had to cheat because I don't own this book physically. I have it on my Kindle and it's um, A Room with a View by Ian Foster. It's a Edwardian book set between England and Italy, predominantly Florence. It's one of those little classics and it's a really short little classic as well that kind of everyone knows something about it. Everyone knows that this book exists in some form or another, but it's a very good book. And it's just this sort of relationships of people, really. That's, that's the only way I can describe it. And I don't wanna to go too much into certain stories because I know maybe some of you haven't read it and I don't wanna scream from the rooftop every intimate detail of it, but it's a great little fun, light classic that's got a lot going on and it was turned into it's been turned into several films that are worth picking up latte an easy read anything by cassandra clare i mean she is one of those writers that is literally the easiest easiest of writers to read uncomplicated everything's very much on the surface you don't have to think you just switch your brain off and enjoy it for what they are. They're f deeply flawed. She cannot write, but my God, you cannot put them down because she's very good at telling a fun story. And that's what these books are. So anything by Cassandra Clare, I will put on the latte list. Mocha, sweet and fun read. So we all like a bit of chocolate now, coffee. So I decided to pick William Blake. His poetry, I think we all know the tiger one, but I'm not gonna talk about the tiger one. Um, <laughs> I adore William Blake and sadly don't own his complete collective works. I own some of it. I own this and stuff on my Kindle and I've got his work spread across the an art book, but I don't own his complete works and I really want to own them. Um, you can pick him up. They're short, they're sweet. Some of them are quite dark. Some of them are quite beautiful. And I, I do like William Blake. So that is my mocha. Iced coffee, a good book for a summer holiday. A day at a beach where you don't want to move. I'm going to pick Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I've gabbed on about this series constantly and the last book is coming out this year in this one. And oh, he's one of those writers that's kind of a mixed bag for me, but the Nevernight series is brilliant. And contrary to popular belief, it is not YA, it is adult fantasy. But it's one of those books that you can read on a beach, and I've done it. I literally just stayed on a beach for the day and just read this from start to finish several times in my life. And just, just a fantastic writer, full stop. So it's set in a world where the sun never sets, there's betrayal, there's politics, there's epic adventure, there's, there's some sex and some murder. These are great fantasy novels and really need to be turned into a television series on Netflix or something, because that would be really cool. So that is my iced coffee. And finally, the final question, the Americano, black coffee, a dark book that you can't put down, Strange Ink. Now this book 
is a thriller. It's a crime novel. It's many, many things. And basically he just wakes up. He's a washed up journalist. He wakes up with a tattoo on his body and then progressively more and more appear. And it's his own torment, his own falling apart. This book, I think, has a different name in different countries, although I can't be sure. And the second book, Dark Ink, is out in October. This book will get under your skin. It will make you, it will just keep you going and you'll read this and you won't be able to stop. So the coffee tag. Who do I tag for the coffee tag? So I'm gonna tag the wonderful Charles. Um, I'll put a link to his channel below. I'm also going to tag Book Invasion because he's cool. And I think I'm going to tag the wonderful Harriet Rosie. Do check this out. Do check this channel out. And um, I will link you to their channels below. So as always, I'm Will and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.